How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So if you've watched the trailer, you'll have seen there's two new exotics in the game. In this video, we'll be going over how to get one of them outright, already in the game and available for you to go farm and pick up. The second one is a time-gated quest. So let's get started. After you beat Tidal Basin, you need to beat the three new invaded missions that will pop up on your map. These will be the prerequisites to accessing Capitol Building and Tidal Basin again. When you gain access to Tidal Basin again, this is where you get the first item that you need to start the questline. Again, keep in mind that this is a multi-part questline and will likely continue next week, so yes, it is gated. So having completed the three invaded missions and capital building, now go into the final stronghold Tidal Basin and reach the point where your objective is to acquire the antivirus. Once you get past this point, there will be a new updated objective called Secure the Comms Area. Defeat all the enemies around you and go into the room to use the laptop. Now it's very important here that you don't go anywhere else. You need to head upstairs and get this key. The first time you played this mission, there was no key there. But the second time you play it now, there is a key and this will open up the door that will lead to the first item. Now get this key and continue to head on to the end of the mission. Once on the hovercraft, clear the area, defeat all the enemies and then continue. Once you go through the door on the left hand side, before proceeding to the end of the mission, there will be a door which has now got a green keypad. Use this door on the left which is now active. Once in this room there will be a weapons cache with a guaranteed Adrestia SR1. If you look at this weapon, the hint is in the flavour text. I am she, whom none can escape. Within me is the key to my true name. And the hint here is essentially that the item that you want is within the weapons. The only way to do that is to dismantle it. So when you dismantle it, you get an item which is the scope. If you go and read the flavour text for this, it reads Klutzy, Shorty and Prime. These are the nicknames certain bosses have. This week, you can only check Prime off the list, which is at Capitol Building. Yes, it means that you now have to revisit an invaded version of Capitol Building, as you can see here, with the name David Prime Maxwell. When me and a friend did this, it dropped for us both, but I cannot verify that this is really 100%. We may have both been lucky. However, it does seem to be 100% from what the reports are coming out. And once you've got this, that is pretty much as far as you can go with this questline. Next week on Next Reset, I assume we'll be getting access to the other two, and this way we can actually build the sniper weapon. Hopefully by then you'll be 500, so you can actually have it at max level. The next weapon, the LMG, the Pestilence, according to Arix's video, drops in the Occupied Dark Zone. But there isn't enough data to prove this, however it does seem, like the showstopper from old in Division 1, the Pestilence is a Dark Zone specific exotic. I haven't seen or heard anyone actually getting it outside of the Dark Zone, so if you have, leave a comment in the description below and let me know. But as of right now, the Pestilence is a Dark Zone specific weapon, I don't believe it's only for the Occupied Dark Zone, because that would be a bit too silly from Massive. The onslaught from this would be quite bad. But, in terms of the actual Nemesis sniper rifle, you get the first two pieces this week, so if you haven't done it yet, go out, get it done, pick up the two pieces, pick up the final pieces next week, and hopefully by that point, we can actually build a weapon. If not, it may even be a multi-layered process as we go along. Right, thanks for watching, I hope this video has been useful to you, and if it has, leave a comment below, let me know, and uh, yeah, any questions, any thoughts, leave them below in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time. Remain Legend.